Okay. Hopefully you can hear me through all this talking. But it's about five minutes till eleven. So the second day of the West tour. I was realizing when I reviewed the video yesterday that I forgot to film someone's face. They're not really hanging out here this weekend, but they set up some stuff. So we're gonna go look at their space and maybe I'll interview some of my my studio mates and maybe later today we can go check out some other artists next door. So this is Mindy and she set up some stuff and she and her sister Becky that I showed you yesterday or earlier this video when I cut it together have a store somewhere southeast of Austin. What is it called? Under One Roof where they show some stuff and they sell some stuff. So I didn't want to leave her out. I, she's not here for me to ask permission about showing her space, but uh, I'll put it on the internet anyways. And here we have Esteban and Anand talking. You mind if I film you guys some more? Are you guys ignoring me? No? Is it okay if I film you? I'm going to put this on YouTube. Can I ask you guys some questions? Make a little little All interview? All questions to Esteban, yeah? All questions to Esteban? No questions to you? Well, we're in front of your space, so how about I ask you some questions about you. Um, when did you start working in clay? Oh, about 10 years back. 10 years ago, and where did you start? Uh, I made a small start in Japan, but then in Singapore. That's where I learned how to work with the plane. Excellent. And why were you traveling so much? Well, we lived in a number of countries. Uh -huh. So when I lived in Japan, that's when I used to go and visit the pottery towns in Japan. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that's what really was the inspiration. All right. So, and then when I went back to live in Singapore, and that's when we uh, I started learning pottery. But uh, well, it was nice you know, to learn pottery at that time because when I went to the class, mm -hmm. uh, there was nobody who was older than 11 years in the class except me. <laughs> <laughs> So and awesome. yeah. so you've been doing it for 10 years. What have kept? What has kept you doing it for so long? Um, I mean, I, I just retired. So before that, you know, when I was working, I used to travel about 50% of the time. Okay. So this was uh, stress therapy, anti-stress therapy. <laughs> Come home and, uh, and and then play with mud. <laughs> Excellent. I know that feeling. Yeah. And how long have you been renting here at Cone 10 Studio? Oh. Um, I think last June. So last June. Coming up to the anniversary. <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't see much of you, so I wanted to ask. Can I ask you some questions? Can we go to your space and can I ask you? Don't worry, I have like two subscribers, so. <laughs> All right, so this is Esteban's space. Esteban's space. Say your name again. Esteban. Right, that's the space. And I showed you yesterday, so it'll be earlier in this clip. But hopefully we can hear Esteban talking over all of this. Maybe we can stand back here. All right, so when did you start working in clay? I started working, I took my first class in Wait, wait, hold on. So she guys. No, it's all right, I just see, he can't. Okay, all right. First sculpture class back in '95, my last year in college, or '94 actually, and uh, I just fell in love with clay since then. And, uh, I uh, when I I went back to Puerto Rico in '97 and uh, took some more classes there, and eventually around '98 I started setting up a studio there, uh, and so I've been just doing it ever since. I've taken a few breaks uh, for different uh, reasons, uh, work situations that mm -hmm. give me enough time to work on it, but mm -hmm. uh, basically I've been working on clay since then. Mm -hmm. And tell me, what has kept you working in clay for so long? I just, it's what, the, what I most love to do, so mm -hmm. I, I can't, even when I've been a while, uh, I've stopped doing it for a while, I just, that's all I want to <laughs> do, so I, I end 
of finding a way to do it again. Excellent, excellent. This will, will be the last that I won't have to stop ever again. Right. And how long have you been renting here at Content Studio? I started in October, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you're talking about, you want to tell people about how you're planning on building a cop house? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, hopefully at some point next year I'll be uh, getting some land. I, I'm taking a cop building workshop this summer. And uh, so I'll build a house out of mud and straw, <laughs> uh, which is uh, yeah, mud, sand, and straw, which are the ingredients for cop. Uh, and uh, after I build a uh, small cabin, I'll, I plan to also build a play studio uh, out of mud as well. <laughs> That'll be really awesome. Excellent. You're going to share pictures of me, right? With yeah. me, right? After you build it? Yes. Excellent. All right. Let's go talk to some other people. Thank you. Esteban. Let's see. I think. Why, I forgot to put on deodorant this morning. Hey, hey good this morning. is Mark. I've been doing some filming. Scary guy. Right, no, you're nice. <laughs> Do you mind if I put this on the internet? Put you on the internet? I filmed your space yesterday. Do you mind if I put that on no, the internet? No, you're more than welcome to. Ah, can we go to your space and I can ask you some questions? Yes. All right. So. Oh, we got some commotion back here. Hopefully, we can hear Mark. Yeah. So this is Mark's space. I showed you yesterday. There's Carol. Oops. I haven't asked her if she wants to be on the internet yet. So. It's, all right. So, Mark, how long have you been working in clay? Uh, on and off for probably 15 years. And when did you, how did you start? In high school. Um, I, I took a couple ceramic classes and really enjoyed them and uh, just went on after that and did some production pottery for about 15 years and then stopped making pottery for about 25 years and just recently got back into it. Excellent. And why did you get back into it? Uh, my daughter kind of showed me that it, I still love to do it and uh, it's fun and relaxing and, uh, you know, found that I have some pretty pretty good skills at it. Yeah, yeah. And how old is your daughter? She is 31. Wow, okay. In Florida. All right, excellent. Thank you. Yesterday I, I did a close-up of your, your sign and I didn't realize you had your phone number on it. Do you want me to cut that out of the video before I post it on the no. internet? No? You're cool? All right, thank you, Mark. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Blair is here. How you doing, Blair? Good. Is it okay if I ask you some questions? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to sit down first? No. No? I, uh... Move the chair, Okay. Well, yesterday I filmed your space and I said that you used to teach at university, but I was wrong. Well, Where did, did you see? Oh, you did. I got the ceramics program at St. Edward's started years ago. All right. Uh, for them, and uh, it was kind of a university without walls situation because I did it in my studio. Uh huh. But I had students from the university, and that program still going. Stan Irvin's the teacher there. Right, and right. Ever since I was. Yes, his work is excellent. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And so, how long ago did you start working in clay? Um, Three decades, anyway. I mean, uh, I started, I guess, hung out my shingle kind of in 72. Mm -hmm. And uh, had my own studio called West Bank Pottery in Austin. And uh, then did it in Arizona for some years. And then I moved to New York and taught there for a long time in New York City. Excellent. And what has kept you working in clay for so long? What has kept me working in it? <laughs> yeah. You know, I see a lot of students or a lot of people, they start learning to work in clay yeah. and they take a few classes and then they never touch it again. Well, I just, I loved it. I mean, yeah. I, I had been in art and related, art history and criticism and then uh, 
decided I'd rather make things than write about people who made things. Mm -hmm. and so I went back to see if I could do it, and I could. And as soon as I found clay, I never looked back. I just, I, I love everything about it. I like the way it smells, the way it feels, mm -hmm. and, you know, <laughs> the leather hard part, and the best part, and the finished part, all of it. Excellent. Do you want to play a little clay flute for us? Sure. Let's, she makes these clay flutes. This is a frog. <laughs> The ocarinas, I believe they're called? Well, that's what some people call them. I call them flutes because I think it sounds cooler. <laughs> They, you can make them sound like a dove, too, if you want. <laughs> well, anyway, Excellent. practice on <laughs> You make them, you don't play them. Yeah, right. I do the same thing with udus. I'm, I like to make them, but I can't play them very well. <laughs> I have bad rhythm. <laughs> I was trying to figure out, uh, somebody was, was talking about that here yesterday, and we were trying to remember what you call those. Right. Was it Urdu? Udu. Udu. U-D-U, but you can also call them pot drums. I've heard yeah. them called pot drums, yeah. but Udu is the Nigerian term, I believe, and mm -hmm. Nigeria is famous for yeah. that particular drum. Udu, anyway. that Udu that you do. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you for talking to me. You're welcome. Thanks. All right. My arms are getting a little tired, so maybe I'll, uh, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to, you know, it's, you know, just puttering about, so I'll do some more filming in a little bit later and maybe talk to some more people.